Hey guys, Jules coming at you with another reasoning sesh where I challenge the status quo of the wisdom of the world and the church by diving deep into the ancient scriptures, uncovering those meanings glossed over by translations, really cutting to the core of the metaphysical aspects of these manifestational texts and applying them practically to situations in our present day so that we can manifest our best life yet and step into Earth 2.0. And today I'm going to be talking about how you can use these ancient scriptures to actually tap into your destiny and manifest that state of being in your own life and then in your life experience. Come now and let us but before I begin, I gotta say, if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and stay tuned because as we build this foundation, we'll have that momentum behind us to propel us forward into this new way of doing things, literally manifesting the kingdom of heaven in this physical plane. But with that being said, I'm just going to jump right into today's text. We're just going to look at a couple verses from the Mishle, or the Hebrew Proverbs, and we're going to start at chapter 4, verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Incline your ear unto my sayings. This is literally Source talking to his children. And of course, the word is the living logos, that spirit-breathed scripture. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Really meditate on it in that heart space. Get to know it personally in your innermost being. For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. The Hebrew for that word health is actually medicine. It actually mends and fixes everything of this physical dimension. And flesh also refers to that ego. That it will heal that state of being that we're actually perpetuating when we're in the ego. But what I really want to point out in these verses is where it says, let them not depart from your eyes. And while a lot of people, you know, just think you got to bury your face in this book, what that really means is let it not depart from your vision. Let what the living logos is actually revealing to you, let that not out of your inner sight. Because as you see yourself, so shall you become. And all of the promises in scripture are for our benefit and in that state of being of abundance because source is nothing less than abundant. We see this time and time throughout the scripture. I'm not going to get into that. I did a live session on that last week. But it's always talking about that state of being that it garners within us because that is the foundation of which our manifestations are built on. If you take it literally, you know, you'll end up wearing the tefillim between your eyes and on your arm. And while that's a shadow of it that's not its fullness that's basically saying see yourself where the scriptures define you do as it commands and then you'll really tap into that abundance check out what Yahweh said to Yahushua this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth but you shall meditate therein day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein for then you shall make your way prosperous and then you shall have good success so when this is the way you see yourself, you'll just manifest that state of being. That's just how your reality will unfold. You know, it's literally like that saying goes, this is my Bible. I am who it says I am. I have what it says I have, and I can do what it says I can do. So tap in and really see yourself from that perspective. See yourself from the perspective of source where, you know, nothing's missing. Nothing's broken. Nothing's out of place. And nothing's lacking because that is our inheritance as divine heirs of these promises. So receive the promises now, tap into that space, and really don't settle for anything less because any kind of distractions is just holding you back from achieving your destiny. So I love you guys. I'll check you in a future reasoning sesh. Joel signing out once again. Agape. Salam. Namaste. Shalom.